Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and I am still working on baby quilts for my niece's twin girls and today I'm working on the alternate block and that is a nine patch chain block and I already made all of the blocks for the yellow quilt and so now I need to make the ones for the pink quilt. So you can see this is just made with some big single squares and then some four patch units and they're set in a nine patch layout and the um, four patches form a chain going diagonally, diagonally through the middle there so that's why it's called a nine patch chain block. So I have all my pieces cut so I'll adjust the camera and show you what I have and show you how I'm putting these together. Okay so I have all of my pieces cut here and what I have are some four and a half inch squares and then a bunch of two and a half inch squares. Now these are the big blocks that go in the block, the big squares. That Those are equal to here. You need four for each block. And then I have two different pinks because I'm working with fat quarters. I couldn't get all of them all the ones I needed out of one fat quarter. So, and besides, I kind of like the look of two different colors. Now on the yellows, these colors are real close together, but you can see this one is a little bit lighter than these here. So that's kind of the plan that I had. And um, then I have a kind of a low volume print with these big squares. So for this quilt, the piece I wanted to use was not in good shape. It came with the fat quarter bundle, but it had been evidently been through a lot because it had some soiling on it and I just didn't want to use it. So um, that piece is one that I'm going to have to fussy cut around the soiled spots. Now these pink squares I'm going to put let me find my diagram here. I can remember how I wanted to do this. But on my diagram, there isn't a whole lot of difference in the colors either, but I did do the dark squares here. And then the lighter pink ones are going to go here. So there's a little bit more contrast between these pieces than there was in the yellow block. But as I had said in the last video, I don't want these quilts to be identical because even though they're twins, they're individuals. So, um, and I don't know if they're identical or not. And I'm sure her mother doesn't either. So, um, their mother doesn't either. So we are, there we go. So that's how that's going to lay out. And then I have this white print for the backgrounds. So that's how that's going to lay out. So you will need four, four and a half inch squares for each block. You will need six, two and a half inch of the light pink, four, two and a half inch of the dark pink, and then two, four, six, eight, ten background, two and a half inch squares. So this you can also strip piece together by sewing a long two and a half inch strip of each one of these to a long two and a half inch strip of the background and then press the seams and um, cut them into two and a half inch by four and a half inch segments and then sewing them together. So you can do it that way too. I tend to forget about that when I'm kind of in the zone and I'm quilting it's like um I do it the old-fashioned way and cut individual squares so anyway I'm going to get started and I am going to sew all of the pink squares to a white square and then sew press and sew those into four patch units
Um, now for making the four patch units, you will need four of the dark and then you need six of the light. So we're going to sew these into pairs and we're going to alternate the colors. So we've got two of the dark pinks and we're going to sew them together like this and just nest your seam together. I sewed or I pressed everything towards the dark fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and pin these and uh, stack them all up and then sew all at once. That one needs to be repressed so I'm stuck that one back in my pressing pile over there and then we'll do all the lighter pinks. Now these need to measure four and a half inches when you're done so if you have the ability to move your needle over um, just a little bit to the right you can get a scant quarter inch and that will help get you the size that you need or you know do whatever you normally do to do a scant quarter inch like I just don't butt it right up against the edge of my uh, quarter inch foot on that guide there I just hold it a little bit to the left of that and then you can also um, put a little tension on these blocks when you're sewing them into the block the big block okay so I'm going to sew all four of these or all six of these I guess there is Okay, now I'm going to cut these apart and press them. It doesn't matter how you press them, if you press them open or to the side, it doesn't matter what side you press them to either. So now I have two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I have five four patch units. So let me press these. Okay, so we have three of these and two of the darker ones. So now we can lay out the block and sew it together into rows. Okay, so I have all the pieces that I need to put the block together. So all these background pieces, the big squares, I just have four of those and they're going to go like this and my dark squares are going to go in this is my upper right my lower left corner and then these are going to face this way okay now all the blocks are made this way so um, you have to make sure you don't get all of these pieces turned you don't want one like this because it won't look right in your setting but here is the nine patch chain block so I'm going to sew these together into rows and then I will sew the rows together and then the block will be done. Okay, now I'm going to leave these chained together because I have found from experience if I don't do the, don't leave them chained together, I will get them in the wrong order. So I'm going to go ahead and pin these all together here so that uh, I don't get things messed up. 
So I had the first block I sewed together, I wound up having to rip apart and do it over because I had a couple of the blocks, part, a couple of the units in the block turned the wrong direction. So that wasn't fun. Okay, so now everything is together and we can start sewing. open this up and check and make sure everything is in the right position and looks like it is so I'm gonna go ahead and press and I'm gonna press away from the four patch units towards the solid squares and then I'll sew these rows together and I'm going to leave them all chained together like they are so that will help me keep from getting things turned around Okay, so I have everything still chained together. Everything's pressed, but it's chained still. And I'm going to I'm going to uh, pin these seams. Which I don't normally do this. This is something that I rarely do, but I found with this block it was very helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this seam and then I will pin the other row together and sew that one and then the block will be done. Okay, here is the completed block. So it turned out well. Um, just double checking my pattern. So I think it looks really good. And let me grab one of the butterfly blocks and lay it next to it. Okay, here's one with some pink in it. So they will go next to each other. And then here is, here's a blue one. Oops. So you can see with all of these fabrics coming from the same designer. And this is a designer that pretty much follows the same color palette. I mean, she has a wide color palette, but you know, all her colors go together. So, um, you know, I think it's, this is gonna be a cute quilt couple of cute quilts so there we go so this here the butterfly blocks were in the last video and then here is the nine patch chain block mix and match your colors however you want you can leave these as your background color you can make these your dark ones you know whatever you want to do my plan is to have this kind of a woven look so um, I think that looks you know it kind of looks like this the darker ones go underneath the light ones so that's the kind of look I was going for 
So anyway, I think those will be cute quilts. I need to get the fabric for the borders yet, so I need to calculate that and uh, get those and then sew all these blocks together and add the borders and then get some quilting done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these videos on the baby butterfly quilt and I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.